Hey, good morning and welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well. Well, today is We Wednesday. <laughs> I guess a We is in team for Wednesday. So uh, it's part of our new theme activities where Monday is Metric Monday. Tuesday is two for one. Tuesday where you double your outcome, 10xing it. Uh, Wednesday's We is in team. Thursday is retrospective. Friday is fun Friday and Saturday and Sunday are self growth, self uh, evolution and what we do, uh, personal growth. So today I wanted to bring up the, a team topic here where I want to say, and even I get caught at doing it sometimes. The ability to do a two week or less sprint is not necessarily the size of the stories. I guess you can go any way you went on that one. Um, but it's not about the story size, right? Making them really small. Small is better. Um, but that's not the point. The point isn't the stories. It's about the team willingness and a ability or, or freedom to help others on the team. That is what's key about making a shorter sprint, a briefer time box work well. And we're going to talk about that today. And this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Messer, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And here we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very practical and tactical way. So we can bring more value to the customer without working crazy hours to get that value to customer and hopefully have some fun along the way. And, and as I said, today, the we, the team part, how does team play in Scrum? I don't think there's enough emphasis in that. So that's why I made Wednesday, a we, as far as um, the conversation goes. So in this case, most Agile coaches, Scrum Masters, even myself at times, kind of emphasize on making stories smaller, making the requirements smaller so we can fit the sprint. And there's a point to it. There's a point but it, where it becomes non-productive, right? More documentation leaning than it is productive work. Because sometimes things are a little bigger than they they need to they should be because it takes a little more effort right it's more complex is what we do here with scrum it's why scrum is invented it's for complex not for simple stuff so sometimes you can't make it really small the key is having the team being willing to help each other when they get stuck so if you make stories too small it's mostly becomes more of an admin nightmare but you want to break down the work a little bit so that other people on the team can work on it so they can volunteer, so they can be available. So what happens is you, you got a nice complex problem. Maybe someone's stuck. They haven't figured out how they want to solve it. The ability of the team to come together to help solve that problem is what makes a two-week or less sprint work. It's not how many stories that I get in the sprint. Now, that's another point. I'm going to come back to that one. Now, I mean, I get done and I got to get seven stories done or whatever the magic number is for getting done in the sprint. That's not what it's about. It's about getting stuff done. Things that are a little more complex have more value to the, or the company, right? And value to the customer. So sometimes they're a little more complex. So the ability of the team to come together, to generate ideas to solve the problem, work together to actually physically solve the problem will also come into play. So, so one is the willingness of the team to work together to solve the problem. Not, And then here comes the other aspect of it. We have to design teams and interactions and backlogs in the sprint so that the team is available to help the other people on the team. If their workload is 100% maxed out, if everyone on the team is workload is 100% maxed out, they're not going to offer to help the other person when they get stuck. Therefore, the story is not going to get done in the sprint. You can break it down to smaller bits, but that doesn't necessarily solve the problem at hand. That's a cop out, to be honest with you. I mean, when they're giant and they take eight months, we'll say, can we break the story down? It's not an eight month story. We got to break it in smaller pieces. Totally get it. But when you're down in that two week realm, it doesn't make sense sometimes to break stories into smaller pieces. Now, one person could be in charge, and we'll talk about that. I'll do that in another show um, of the story, but 
you can have everyone work on it, different pieces of it, bring some pieces to the puzzle. Why one person's coding one thing, another person can be coding a different thing to combine the two pieces together for the complete story so that we have a good slice down the process. And this is where people don't get it. You got to give them the flexibility to not have to be totally focused on their own stuff, about, but willing and able and permitted to go help other people in the, in the team to get through the sprint. And I really think that is really a key to making a two week or less sprint work. People get stuck. We don't let it sit around. We all get on it and we all come up with ideas or some ideas that might make it faster to come up with solution. Typing the effort is not necessarily the longest part of the problem. Part The longest part of the problem is coming up with what kind of solution tactic that they want to take to solve the problem. And that's what teams don't get. So I wanted to share that with you. It's not about how big the story is or how small the story is. It's really about the willingness and openness and permittedness of the people on the team to work together to solve a problem. So that's what I wanted to share about we as in team. You got to get that we going so that they can do that. So with that, I want to say you have a great day. Enjoy. Happy scrumming. Take care. See you later. Bye.